Hey guys, today we are working on the fourth page, the last page, the back of the fourth page in the Remnants Lovely Layers Graphic 45 Fairy Dust mini album that I made for Maidacon. And again, once again, I just want to remind you that I'm recording these in February, so um, as usual, I will have direct links to the templates and to the build embellishments and all of that, uh, to the playlist, to the YouTube playlist for the Remnants Lovely Layers. And um, for any and all products that I can find will be in the description box below. There'll be links there so you can find stuff easily. So with this one, we're not actually using just a whole page for this page. I'm going to actually put this up. We're going to use some bits and pieces that we have left over. So we have this page that we're getting my work on. Well, when I was looking at the prototype that I made already, um, I messed up. So back here on page two, the front of page two, we use this envelope here. Well, I want to use that back here. So I'm going to replace it with this envelope. So I'm just going to cut it out real quick um, and then we can go from there. Okay, so I went ahead and cut the mini envelope number two out and the insert that goes inside of it. And I think I'll have it go this way. These were already leftover pieces from other parts. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get my scoreboard out and we're gonna score all these lines. You know what, while I got it out, I'm gonna go ahead and score this um, belly band as well. Go ahead and fold these pieces and get them prepped and ready. All right, I'm going to let me go ahead and do this one too since I've got it out. Since I've got it out, <laughs> that didn't make any sense. All right, I'm going to go ahead and ink this envelope up with Distress Oxide and Walnut Stain. I think the mailman's here. Sophie, don't start barking. So I'm going to go ahead and ink this front and back while she's barking, and then I'll be back. And I'm going to ink this too, and this. Just ink it all. All right, everything's inked up. Now let's glue this sucker together. It's a very teeny tiny space there to glue it. So you have to be really super, super, super careful. I'm going to use my fabric tag because that's what I use for pretty much everything. Well, maybe I won't. There we go. Gotta let it come down. Okay, so I'm just barely gonna put any glue on the edge here. Just barely. We just need just a little bitty, bitty bit. And then I'm gonna put some glue on this bottom tab. Okay, let's close this. And close that. Looks like it was just enough. Okay. So then the insert goes in here, and then this goes in here. So we're going to use this on the back page. So I'm going to go ahead and put those back. All right. So back here, we're going to use a belly band, and I already inked it up. I'm going to notch these corners. And I'm going to put some tape on there. Yep. This is score tape. This is quarter of an inch score tape. These, um, you're, I already told you what these are. <laughs> All right, and I am going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and attach it down. So... This does not have a direction, so I'm just going to I'm gonna try to get it in the center, but we know I'm not good at that. Good enough. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is, I think this is so cute. This is one of my build embellishments. This is a teeny tiny little postcard. And 
um, with one of my paintings on it. And so I'm gonna roughly cut this out just by wiggling my scissors around. And it just gives it more of that vintage, <laughs> vintage antique look when it's not got straight edges, you know. And then I'm gonna ink it up. And I'm gonna ink it up on the other side. So what my thought is, I'm thinking, is that. I'll put it here, like on the flap here. So it kind of looks like it's like a little bundle, a little bunch of like letters and postcards. So I'm just gonna go ahead and attach it down. Because I like it, so that's why I like it. Right? I got a little carried away with the glue. With Fabri-Tac, you can use your finger to get rid of it. Like that. So now you got glue burgers. Not anymore. Okay. So there we got that. And now I'm going to get some twine. I don't need that much. I'm going to get some twine. I'm going to tie... I'm gonna tie a bow around it. So cute. Whoop! <laughs> Hang on! What did I do? How did I get that knotted? Are you pulling the wrong one? Ah! Yeah, I've done this before, I promise. Alright, we're gonna try it again. Tie it around and make a bow. And that's an ugly bow. We're going to have to adjust it. All right? So then the, the idea, the thought behind this is two things, really. You can leave it to where it's accessible, like you can open it up just by untying it and opening up the letter. Um, or you can have it just as purely a decoration, but we're gonna, we're gonna leave it to where we can open it up. So I'm gonna glue it down the center here. I'm gonna give it a minute. And I'm gonna add some more glue to where this twine is so that when I go to tie it or untie it or whatever, Again, this twine won't pull out. So I think I'm gonna go right there. Okay, isn't that cute? I think it's adorable. I don't think it's adorbs. Okay, so now I'm gonna do an insert. I think I'm gonna use one of my Build Embellishment tag inserts. And this is one of the large cutoff pieces. So I'm just going to trace, it's, it's a little short, but that's okay because we're not matting it or anything. So I'm just gonna go like this, I'm gonna hold it down, trace around the top and the sides, right? And then this little hole right here, and then leave the rest of it, even though it's, the piece was too short, it doesn't matter. I'm just grabbing my scissors. So I'm going to use this as an insert. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and punch a hole because I am going to cover this side with book paper because I don't like it. Daggone it. Well, where is that piece I just had a little while ago? Too small. Well, I'm gonna get another one. <laughs> I think everybody got like five or something. 
<clears throat> okay. This page is so easy, but so cute. All right, I'm gonna cover the back here with this uh, old encyclopedia paper page or whatever. You go around the edges. Like that. And I'm just going to pick a spot. I'm going to flip it over. Oh, it felt the glue ooze. <laughs> That's all right. All right, I'm going to let that dry for a minute because I want to cut this piece out too. This is also from my build embellishments and What's cool, what I like about this one, is, I'm gonna get the bigger scissors, is it looks like wall, it actually, to me, the reason I went ahead and put it um, in this album was because it looks like fairy wallpaper. I don't know, you tell me, you tell me what you guys think. And I'm just gonna roughly cut it, just like uh, I did the little postcard. You could journal on here, you could put a picture, you, could, you know, you can cover up my little painting if you want. Look, I even got the painting upside down. You can cover up my little painting if you want to, put a little picture there, you can put a picture back here. But, um, oh, let me, let me, I'm gonna tear this one. ahead and ink both of these front and back and then I'll be back okay I've got both of them got both of them inked so now I'm gonna do some whole reinforcement stickers oh my gosh I'm running low on these I'm gonna put a light colored one on this dark side Whoa. and then I'm gonna put Let's do the blue green one on this side. What? That's not coming off. Right? And then I want to do another, well, where did I, another paper clip. One of these little teardrop rose gold paper clips. Um, I will add those to my Amazon list. I don't know if I told you guys that already. I probably didn't. So I just thought it would be cute to kind of keep them together. Add a little interest, right? And then these can go right. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. <laughs> my glue seeped out a little bit. It seeped out a little bit. It's okay. So they can go right there. And so that's it. Doesn't that look cute? I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. And give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit this circle right over here. And then here is a direct link to my Etsy shop for the templates and the build embellishments. And uh, you might like some of the videos you see on the screen. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.